What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more of Pino's Redemption Tour here on PCM 2020. And as you can see, a very fun stage coming up because quite a lot of climbing, including the Col de Porte early on, a few other climbs as well, and then finishing with a punchy little hill. So it should be a very enjoyable one today. Let's get into it. Every day that goes by in this race, I'm expecting a bad day for Pino, but he just keeps up coming up with the goods and the good race day conditions. You can see another plus three today. Probably won't be able to use that to its maximum. However, we can see a lot of guys going off the front already. I might try and put someone like Madua in that break, but to be honest, he's, he can't get up the roads anyway, so maybe we'll have to give up on that idea. So then, to my surprise, we did actually manage to get up the roads in this group, as you can see. Quick look around, and you can see the likes of Bardet, of Venepool, Alaphilippe, Coons, Lutsenko as well. So good group for Madoua and a strong day as well for the Frenchman. So hopefully we can maybe go away and get a chance at stage victory. So 3k to go on the Coles of Porte and it seems Madoua will make it over in this front group pretty comfortably. We do have a few guys going out the back already. You can see Nierland, Siver is struggling. Uh, well, I wonder if anyone else drops as well. 2k still to go and you can see we are running very, very low on yellow. I'll maybe jump in Lutsenko's wheel if he can try and get through these guys. Struggling at the moment, he now can break through. We'll try and follow Roman Bardet just to try and stay at the front more than anything. Maybe try and steal some points. That doesn't really matter though. Down in 16th in that competition. And we're about to die to the top, so let's slow up towards 60. It will be, I think, Lutsenko taking those points. Uh, can we beat these guys? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyhow, we'll stay in this group as you can see Dillier out the back as well now. Coming off this downhill sector then, and we do have some pretty big splits back in the peloton, as you can see, quite a few groups all over the roads. Most of our guys are right at the front, luckily for now, and you can see the pace pretty high by Astana and Bora, so we'll see if they continue that pace over this climb as well, trying to keep some of those riders behind. So reaching the top of the Cote de Ravel, you can see attacks are now going off the front. I quite like to stay with these guys, so I will attack briefly with Madoua. We do just about have enough energy for that. Not really bothered about the points again. Let's just make sure we stay in this group. We can now relay with these guys on maybe 60. Um, and back in the peloton, you can see it's still six and a half minutes to this group. So a genuine chance to break do take this stage. So the pace in the peloton has really, really been increased over that climb though. And down to under 60 riders in this group now. More dropping out the back all the time as we have this difficult false flat section currently. Madoua looking good though in the breakaway still with six minutes. So I do think this group will take the stage win uh, judging by our guy's energy as well. At this stage then, I am going to stop working in the breakaway with Madua because we have just four minutes back to the Peloton. Really high pace in this group and we do have a split as well with a few guys dropping out the back, really struggling with the high tempo in the Peloton today. Stefan Kung on a plus five day, I am going to try and protect him, you know, with Reichenbach. See if we can get him over this difficult climb right here. If we can, he is going to be in a very good position to maybe try and attack uh, but Madua still looking okay in this group up the roads. Okay, so we do have an attack, I do believe, back in the peloton by Jakob Fugelsang. And Madua really, really struggling up the road in that breakaway. Don't think he's going to be strong enough to challenge for the stage. So maybe we need to concentrate on this group behind now um, as we do have some attacks. But Shackman now coming to the front for Bora. Okay, so Reichenbach is gone. Godou is gone as well as the pace is mental right now in this peloton. We're going to have to use Stefan Kung for protection. And Pino perhaps can try and bridge up to Madoua. In fact, I will wait for Thibaut Pino with Madoua as he has now been dropped down to 26 riders in the main GC group. This is crazy, crazy stuff. Up the road, it's Bardet, Alaphilippe, Higita and Lutsenko looking good. And we do now have attacks from Molima and Adam Yates. I will try and jump into their wheel with Thibaut Pino. I don't see any reason why not. As we now have Madoua to try and protect us. Can he do that right here as I'm completely messing up? There you go. So we can maybe pace a little bit. 
with Madawal protecting us right now. In fact, we'll just hit up because Molma up the roads. We'll see how these guys react. Here we go then. Tom Dumoulin is thinking about an attack and he is going on the attack. Uh, we have Quintana as well in polka dots. Madawa is now done. Very nice to have him there as a little stepping stone. But here we have Dumoulin, Quintana and Thomas in this group. I'll sit up again as we have the likes of Landa coming back on uh, and we completely sit up into the top of this climb. Still 18 riders in this group. Up the road, Toons and Avenipool are ahead and still three minutes to Alaphilippe and Bardet up the roads. Hopefully we can keep Madawa in this group and it seems we will. So it's very helpful having Madawa still in this group to help out Thibaut Pino. But up the roads, I think the stage will be won by Bardet or Alaphilippe. And Roman Bardet going all in on this little kind of false flat downhill section. Um, and you can see Agita and Litsenko trying to catch up. Don't think they will though, whilst Madawa can control things in this group. Four and a half K to go from Roman Bardet trying to hold off Julian Alaphilippe. And he may well do it, you know, it's going to be very, very close. Uh, Shackman did just come to the front in this group. And now it is Damiano Caruso with five K to go. We can now use our energy gel and we are now approaching this final little hill. Going to be pretty simple, I do think, for Pino to at least stay in this group. So we should be okay as we now have Emmanuel Bookman on the attack. I did react to that okay. And he's unable to get away as we come into the final 3k. Great job by Madawa, able to stay here. Up the roads, Alaphilippe has overtaken Bardet. Can those guys take the stage though? As you see Quintana on our right. Can I jump in the Colombian's wheel? Yes, I can. We have Doomlan a bit further ahead. Gonna try and jump to Doomland actually. He looks in a much better position. We're just gonna sprint for the line with Thibaut. Up the roads, Alaphilippe beats Bardet to the stage. And I do believe we are gonna be one of the first guys from the GC. Thomas just behind. Uh, we also have Higita finishing strong. But a solid third place by Pino taking some very valuable bonus seconds as well. Uh, but I don't believe we gained any real time in the GC today. I uh, don't think anyone dropped either, so not a big GC day today. So the breakaway just about hold on to the stage victory, and it does mean we do have a French 1-2-3 today with Pino taking it from the Pelson, but as you can see, no real gaps in the GC. So we keep about a 1 minute 30 leads to Nairo Quintana, Thomas just behind him. Damar stays in green, no change there today, whilst we still have a big lead in the KOM jersey as well. And looking ahead to stage 17, gonna be a super fun one because we do have two big climbs, including the Col de la Loz. So we could well see some big gaps again in the GC and we are sure to be attacked by the likes of Quintana and Thomas again tomorrow. But anyway, if you enjoyed this one today, drop a like on the video as always. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.